Looks a little orangey. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing the drugstore makeup challenge. So essentially what that is, is a little bit self-explanatory. Essentially, I'll be trying to make a, or do my makeup using entirely of drugstore makeup products. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. All right, so essentially for this challenge, I, I'm doing kind of a bit of a combo of kind of products that I already have in my makeup collection, but I also did go to Target and purchased a few um, drugstore makeup products that I just kind of needed um, for this challenge. So again, I'm going to do a little bit of both. Um, I'm going to be using, again, just makeup products that I have in my own collection that are drugstore. And then again, I did purchase a few items from Target that were drugstore, and then I'm going to be using, I'm going to try to do um, in this look. So again, some of these um, newer products will also do kind of like a review, I guess you'll say. Uh, and again, we'll see how this makeup look comes out to be. So hopefully it'll turn out okay um, type of thing, but we'll see. Um, so I already did my skincare uh, type of thing. So my skin is moisturized. First, I'm going to be priming my face, so I'm going to be using the Milani Prime Light Face Primer. Looks like this. So I'm going to be priming my face with that. Um, so I've used this before. Um, so this is just uh, a glowy, dewy primer. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put it... I'm going to concentrate it mostly on the high points of my face since this is more of like a strobing prime light type of primer so i'm gonna put it a little bit over all of my face but again i'm gonna go back with like another a little bit more just on the high points of my face so the bridge of my nose um the tops of my cheeks and just a little bit where like the the light will naturally hit my face All right, so next, this is another item in my makeup collection. So so for my foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 206 Buff Beige. So looks like this. So I'm just going to use my hands first, and then I'm going to go back in with like a beauty, beauty sponge. This is just a beauty sponge I got in my FabFitFun subscription box so i'm gonna again use my fingers first and just to get the product on and then i'm gonna blend it out with the beauty blender okay so this is just one layer again this beauty sponge uh thankfully has like a silicone part and also just like the normal beauty sponge which is nice all right so this is just one layer again you could probably build this foundation up a bit um again this is actually one of my favorite drugstore foundations that i use again it's more on the dewy side again and it feels nice on the face so all right so for concealer um i didn't have any drugstore concealers on hand so i picked up the wet and wild Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. Yep, so it looks like this. I just guessed my shade, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, but I got the shade Medium Honey. So that's what I picked up. So we'll see. And how much was this? Just to see. This was $3.99 at, at my local Target. So, yep, $3.99 concealer. So we'll see how it goes. As a lot of you guys know, I'm very particular with my concealer so let's see all right so looks a little orangey to start but we might make it work again we'll go here all right so let's blend this out i'm gonna use my fingers first just to warm up the product as well Okay, so at least it is blending out okay. Again, it's not 
too bad so far. I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but at least it's blending out okay. I was a little worried it was going to be a little too orangey, but, you know, we'll, we'll make it work. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, again, it blended out okay. Type of thing. I would say for actual concealing, it's a little thin for me. Like, I could still see, again, my dark under eye circles, or everyone knows I love my Tarte Shape Tape concealer, and that's like my tried and true. So, it's not too bad, honestly. Hopefully I'm not too orangey, but we'll make it work. All right, so next I'm gonna set my face. All right, so I didn't have like a drugstore setting powder, so I picked up the um, Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation in the shade 320 Honey Caramel. Looks like this. Again, I just guessed my shade. I feel like in general, any of like the honey tones um, are usually fine. So let me let's try this one out. All right, so I'm just gonna use like a powder brush to dip my brush in and set my face. Hopefully this isn't coming out too dark. Yeah, not bad. I also heard too that this powder is really good, so I also just wanted to try it as well. So I was like, you know, why not? Let me finally try this Maybelline uh, setting. Let me finally just try this foundation powder. Yep. Oh, and I forgot to mention, let's see how much this was. So this was a little bit on the pricier side. So this for drugstore, I got at least. Um, so I think this was $8.99. Yeah, $8.99. Yep. All right, next I'm going to do my brows. So again, everyone knows I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So I had to pick up a brow pencil. So I picked up the... Elf Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. And I think, how much was this? This was $3, so $3 brow pencil. Uh, so I picked this up, so let's see how this works. Yep, so it looks like this. Again, it has like the spoolie on the one end and then the product on the other end, okay. Yep, and the end looks like this with like a little point, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, hopefully this isn't too dark. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. Ooh. I'm just gonna use like a very light hand. <laughs> yep, so hopefully it's not it's not too dark. I mean, thankfully I, my hair isn't dyed right now. I'm just rocking my natural roots. So again, I'm just using a very, very light hand. <laughs> Let's use like the spoolie. Blend it out a little bit. All right, so far so good. All right, so I'm gonna fill my other eyebrow and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with both of my eyebrows done. Um, but yeah, I'd say for a $3 brow pencil, really not that bad. I mean, again, I did guess the color based on kind of the shades that they had. I did use a light hand using this, so hopefully my brows don't look too dark. Um, but otherwise not bad for $3. Can't beat it, so yeah. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I picked up a cute little e.l.f. quad here. So this is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in, I think, Cream and Sugar. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, so we'll go with that. So again, the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Cream and Sugar. So it looks like this, this cute little, oops, let me turn it the right way. So it looks like this. Again, it had cute four, four colors, so let's try this out. Let's see how much this was. Yep, so this was also $3, so for $3, let's see, let's see how this, this goes. Cute, look at this cute little palette, I'm just saying, like, so cute, and for three bucks, all right. Yep, so here are the shades, so cute, it's a cute little palette, I'm just saying, three bucks? Come on, <laughs> like, um, okay, so I'm gonna take this first shade, and just use it as like a transition shade. So I'm just gonna like, let's see, put it all over my lid. 
and then I'm going to take, I guess, the sec this second shade here, and then we'll see. Let's put it, let's put it on the lid as well, but focus it on, like, the... Okay, this is, like, really bright. Okay. All right. Let's make this work. Okay, not my favorite. I mean, I'm making it work type of thing, but it's, like, okay. In terms of, like, the pigmentation, again, it's a, not, I don't want to say patchy, but I feel like also, like, the shade just isn't the best, or it's not my favorite. Not terrible, but I'm just going to blend this out. And then I'm going to try to take, again, this third one. Let's try to do this in the crease. Let's see how this goes. All right, this one's a little better. I like this one better. This one's more my vibes. So, just putting this in the crease and bringing it down a little bit. All right, this one's, sa this one's saving it. Saving the eye look. All right, I'm just like super blending this in. Yeah, I like this shade a lot better. It works a lot better with my skin tone as well. Bring it down a little bit. I'm just gonna fix this side a little bit so it's a little bit more even. Yeah, this second shade is like, I'm like not liking it. Yeah, it's not bad, it's just not my favorite. All right, then I'm gonna try to smoke it out just a little bit with this last darker shade. Just a little bit, let's see. Bring it down a little bit. All right, so I smoked it out just a little bit. I'm just gonna go back with that third shade, just to blend it out a bit. I really like this shade. All right, so I think this is as good as it's gonna get. So again, not terrible. I mean, keep in mind, this is a $3 palette. I'd say probably my favorite shades are probably this one and the third shade. Again, I really actually do like this shade. The second shade, just, I don't really like the pigmentation of it, it doesn't really blend that well, in my opinion, and um, this last shade actually isn't that bad as well. Again, I had a little bit of trouble, a little bit of trouble blending it, again, it's not bad, but I'd probably say my favorite shades are probably this shade and this shade. Um, so not terrible, again, keep in mind it is three bucks, so, you know, uh, but again, if you're in a pinch and just need a little goldeny natural look, I mean, again, not bad for three bucks. All right, so that's it for this uh, palette. All right, so next I'm gonna do eyeliner. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil in brown. So this one I, I, do, lo I do use this just on the regular. One of my favorite bra uh, eye eyeliners. So, yep. So I'm just gonna line my eyes. All right, I'm back. And I just, again, lined my eyes with that eye pencil. I did a little bit of a wing, but yep. So this is my eyeliner. All right, so let me do bronzer. <laughs> I was like, I need to like bronze up my face. So I do have um, a few drugstore bronzers in my makeup collection, but when I was at Target, I did go to the clearance section and saw that they had this Physician's Formula Powder Palette Multicolored Bronzer um, here. So you see, you got the little clearance sticker on it. Yep, so it looks like this. Um, and Physician's Formula, it is a little on the pricier side when it comes to drugstore, but I figured, again, I was at Target when I did pick it up, and it is a, at regular price, it is $16.59, which again is even just a little pricey for drugstore, but I did get it on clearance for $8.29, the sticker on here, but it does say $8.29. Yep, so I was like, oh. so just a little tip, guys. I always check uh, the clearance section. So I was like, oh. let me pick this up. And I know Physician's Formula is, a, again, on the nicer side of drugstore. So I was like, oh, perfect. So let me pick this up. So I'm going to try this out. All right, so it looks like this. 
Oh, so it's multicolored. Yep, so it's multicolored, so I think you just kind of like swoosh your brush around and um, makes a little bronze look, so we'll see. It does have like a like a mirror on the back and like a brush, but I'm just gonna use like my normal bronzer brush. So let me just swoosh my brush around, tap it out. Let's see how this performs. I'm hoping it's not like too orangey type of thing. Again, worst case, I do have my tried and true Milani baked bronzer. So let me at least warm up my face a little bit with this. Also maybe because I'm like not used to it type of thing. Sometimes it takes me a little longer to get used to just new products because I'm not used to it on my face, but it like warm it's like an it's like okay. Like I feel a little orangey, but maybe that's just me. But just in case. I do have my tried and true Milani baked bronzer in Soleil 5. So this is my tried and true. So it looks like this. So I'm just gonna go put a little, I'm also gonna use this as a little bit of a highlighter just because it does have like a little bit of a shimmery in it. So I am just gonna glow up my face a little bit with this as well. Yep, so add a little bit of glow. Okay, so before I put my mascara on, I'm just going to set my face. Um, so I picked up, for a setting spray, I picked up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. So this actually, you could use it as a prep, set, and refresh. So as a primer to set your face and also if you want to refresh your makeup. So uh, let's see how much this was. I feel like this wasn't... Yeah, so this was only $3.99. So again, for $3.99 to get a, again, a primer, um, a setting spray, and to also refresh your makeup, I was like, why not? So let's try this out. Yep, so it looks like this. All right, so I don't know if you have to shake it, but let's just shake it just in case. So let me get it going first. All right, let me fan it out. A little fan action. Maybe I put a little too much, but again, sometimes I get a little too excited with this stuff. It smells nice. Like again, it's that coconut smell, but it's not overpowering and it's, it doesn't smell like super synthetic. You know how sometimes coconut smells like very synthetic? Um, but yeah, so fan it out a little bit. <laughs> All right, and then for my mascara, I'm gonna use one of my favorites. So this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Um, and I think it's in shade black brown. Yep, so it's in shade black brown. So I'm gonna use this to do my mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras as well. All right, so I'm done with my mascara. That's how my mascara looks like. A little eye glamour, you know? And this is like one of my favorite mascaras, highly suggest. And then for lips, I'm gonna use, this isn't really at the drugstore, but I, it's a brand that's very affordable in the beauty world. So I'm gonna be using ColourPop. Again, ColourPop is very affordable um, in the makeup world. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon in Shaka. So just a little, just a little nude, a little nude lip here. Just a little tint. All right, guys, this is my finished look for the drugstore makeup challenge. What do y'all think? Here's the finished look here. Yes, a little drugstore makeup look. Yeah, not bad. Again, I made it work. Again, we actually discovered some very uh, you know, some some cute products here that are affordable. I mean, again, ask anyone. I love a good deal. You don't have to spend a lot of money to look cute. 
All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and watching me make this makeup look out of drugstore makeup products. I had a lot of fun filming it for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel as always. To all my Filipinos out there, maraming maraming salamat. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.